Good morning, everybody. Uh, this jet black car going by me right now. His license plate said sixes, like sixes, like multiple sixes. Um, there's a lot of people. I think their spirit, they know. They know what time it is. Just like my dream um, where, you know, it told me. I told you I had a dream where I was clearing the doorway out real fast. Um and I had to get inside and shut the door because God's wrath is about to uh, come down on all this. This is all getting ready to come down to an end now. And then the fives, you know, I told you that's grace. And uh, I believe the grace is up. It's over. It's over. I've, I've been, you know, ever since I got this photo and I told you I was called to do what I'm doing. Um... Ever since I got that photo, I've been doing this, okay? I was talking about it even before that because I seen things going on that just didn't seem right. And it felt like, you know, it felt like things were bad. You know, people weren't doing what was right. And uh, all the things I'm seeing, they're screaming out at me. Like here... You guys know I'm in uh, Mississippi, right? Now, this is a fire uh, tag, okay, from Alabama. I noticed the tag. If you look at it, it's an Alabama tag. Now, there it was at the post office where I'm at in Mississippi. And, you know, the odds with all these vehicles and people moving around you, the odds of all these things happening around you. And somebody else sent me that, May. I told you, I believe, you know, I believe this May. It's up. They say, you know, you don't, no one knows the day or hour. Well, why did the Lord tell us to watch? Huh? That V on the hand, that's for five, Okay. And then that, see how that guy's being beamed up? The Lord's given us signs. And he told us to watch. Now some people, he even called them foolish. You think maybe because they weren't watching? Because they weren't believing? You think maybe that could be it? I'm going to include my last video in this video because I still wanted to share some with you guys today. It's like I could never really get enough time to talk like I want to talk. Um, like that dream that I had, you guys. I just, man, if I had a church, I wouldn't be tickling ears, that's for sure. But if I had a, a building... See, this is church, us, where we get together and do what we're doing. The church is the group of people because we are like a part of the body of Christ. Um, I guess I had one person that got upset or something and wanted to unsubscribe, said they were unsubscribing, something about no more pessimist. I don't know what that was about. Um, he said something about good morning, America. And I just came on there and said, hey, we're reaching around the world today on YouTube, you know, I didn't mean it to offend him by that, but I guess maybe he was offended by it or something. I don't know. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, like I said, if somebody's meant to be, they will be. If they're meant to, just like Jesus said with Judas, you know, he was meant to betray Jesus, and he did, you know. Everybody's got a destiny. Um,. Yeah, man, we're getting ready to go, you guys. That's what that dream was. And let me tell you something. You don't see me jumping up and down like I'm all super happy about this. Because uh, it's 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 going to be a very dark day for a lot of people. It's going to be a very, very dark day. And uh, let me tell you something. What I heard, what I heard coming... God help him, you know. The Lord's upset. I'm telling you, he's going to be very upset when he gets here. And that's why I said, don't be mistaken. One day is like a thousand years to him. And now he's coming. 
people are going to soon find out that he he was just crucified. He was just crucified. This isn't something that just happened. It ain't something that just happened. Or happened 2,000 years ago like like we would think. This is something that happened... Uh, This is something that happened, uh, um, two days ago, okay? Not 2,000 years ago. Um, yeah, man, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be coming down. Open ye the gates that are unrighteous nations, which keepeth the truth, may enter in. The gates, that's, uh, that's the 555, five, five. you know, enter ye in through the gates, time's up, it's up, it's over, all my dreams even tell me that, that it's over, you know, uh, I've been doing this for probably three and a half years, man. Living in a truck like this. I mean, you know, I took this very, very serious. Because, I mean, what I seen, I knew what time it was. And that picture that I got with the angel blowing the trumpet. There, you don't you don't mistake stuff like that. And you don't put stuff off like that even. You know? And I'm telling you, there's a lot of people. How many people do you see on YouTube that have people making videos about them? Scoffing them. Like, really, really scoffing them. The reason why they're really, really scoffing me is because the Lord truly has called me to do what I'm doing. And he's given us signs to see. And uh, they don't like that I'm telling you that this is this is it. We're getting ready to go. You know, the time is up. They don't like that. They don't want none to escape. None. And uh, I had a dream about that too where some of the people, where I went in there and I called on the Lord. I was at the door. And uh, when I called on the Lord, they disappeared like into the darkness. And then all of a sudden they came out of the dark with some people by the shoulders and they threw them at my feet. And uh, I went and I picked them up and I looked in their eyes to see if I could see, you know, if they were good or bad. And uh, but they looked like they were like drunk, like, you know, like a drug was on them, you know, like they... Like what's going on in the world today. These things are meant to distract people. All this stuff. Bankers, they're they're working for the devil. And they don't even know it. They're uh you know, they're all looking at, you know, the big figures, the money that they're making, doing what they're doing, trying to figure out ways to making more money. And you know who they hit the worst? People that ain't got money. You know? The, the people that got money and they're spending money all the time and they got plenty of money in the bank, they don't even charge them fees or anything because they got all their money. But if you ain't got money and you can't maintain a certain amount of money in that bank, then they're going to charge you fees every month, you know, and, or fines. I told you one time I left uh, $200 in my bank account, thought I could keep it open in my business account. And I went back to it about four months later, and uh, they actually took all that money and said I owed them more money. I'm going, what? Are you kidding me? And and what they did was they credited me. They said, well, we'll credit you since you didn't know that, you know. And if you want to open your account, but I lost that money that they took. These are the end days, you guys. You know. People that are suffering and hurting the worst, they're being um, afflicted more than people know. Most people aren't aware of it because they're really not paying attention, you know, as long as things are good for them. It's like a drug, this, everything that's here. It's like a drug to these people, and they want more of it. You look at a junkie, how he wants the money. Look at how these things are in the world, and look around you real good. None of this stuff lasts. None of it. None of it lasts. What, what's eternal is in the kingdom of heaven. That's why he says, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. And he encourages you to buy gold and silver from him. Not of the world, okay? 
Now, here in Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 20, 21, I'm telling you, this is the dream that I had. I know it was. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Because let me tell you, when I went in there and I shut that door, that sound that I heard, it sounded biblical. It sounded biblical. I said it sounded demonic, but it's not demonic. It's holy and it's from God, and it's coming down to uh, destroy the remnants of what's on this earth. And he's going to do it. Um, he's just like he took the Pharaoh and all his army, and he made them chase into the sea and then drop the sea on them, you know, and kill them. I mean, you know, who in their right mind is going to drive right through an ocean that's got... That's being parted, you know, by, you know, by God. You know, who in their right mind would do that? And it says in the word of God, I will send them strong delusion. He doesn't say, I'll just send them strong delusion. He says, I will choose their delusion. In other words, they're all going to have different delusions. Just like you see, you know, what the devil's even doing. The devil's even working for God. He's doing God's will whether he doesn't realize it or not. He is. He's going to do what God's will is. And uh, that's what God created him for. You know, he's um, he's getting out the bad seed. You know, he's getting out what's bad. But he's going really ballistic, you know. Now he's going, he's past that mark where he's uh, killing little children and people are allowing it. You know, that's why Jesus, when he came here, he warned people. He said, don't sin again or something worse can happen. Something worse. And uh, most people don't even talk about that in the churches today. Yeah, you know, they're not talking about it. They're tickling ears. I heard like that guy I was just speaking with with the 555 on his tag. He's telling me how he listened to Joel Osteen. Well, one day I was listening to Joel Osteen. And uh, I heard Joel Osteen saying, you know, if Joseph in Egypt, if he hadn't have told his brothers that dream, they never would have sold him as a slave. And Joseph would have had a beautiful life and just would have lived just happily ever after. But see, one thing, and everybody's going, yeah, I believe in everything. And I'm thinking, what an idiot. If he hadn't shared that dream, all of Egypt would have died of a famine, and so would his whole family. How would Joseph lived happily ever after? Because they would have had that famine coming up, and nobody would have survived. Because who would have prepared for it or saved the food? You see what I'm saying? And what's written in the Word of God, you know, and basically what Joel Osteen's doing is telling you, you know, had he not done that, this book wouldn't be fulfilled. You know, and it, he's coming against God. And how is it that these people could be in a church and not know that? Do you see what I'm saying? And another thing I want to say, when I load up my videos, I notice, you know how they give you those little videos that say recommended to watch and stuff like that? I'm seeing perverted stuff on there. Sexual things. And I don't click on those things. I don't click on them, but they're sending them to me all the time, you know, perverted things. And then some of them I can click and say, not interested, not interested. But some of them in the beginning, it won't even let me do it. It'll say, watch, save later or something like that, you know. And I'm like, you know, this is garbage. And then, you know, children can, if they're, if they're out there like that, children can click on this stuff. It's wrong. And try to remember also, you guys, the wheat and the tares are growing among us. Okay? Let's focus on our spirit, not on what's in the world, because he's coming down here now to destroy it. We don't have to worry what China and Russia and whatever's going on in the news anymore. This is all being run by the devil. Be ready for the coming of our Lord, okay? Focus on Jesus Christ. Um... There's a lot of uh, demonic sounds that you're hearing, too, on these videos. Remember, the wheat and the tares are growing together. If somebody's sending you videos saying, hey, check this out, and it's got weird sounds like, ew, ew, making weird noises and stuff like that, don't listen to it. Because these are the end days. 
You don't even hear me on here where I, I start the videos going, Are you serious? Are you serious? Get a cup of coffee. Yeah, this is very serious. Very serious. Now, if you know these are the end times and God's wrath is coming down on here, are you going to want to turn this into a television show? This is no joke here. What's happening with the devil and souls and people being deceived? This is very serious. It's not about how many ratings you can get. Yeah, I'm not after attracting ratings here like that. I'm not here to tickle ears. I'm here to get, make, give people the straight truth here, man. There's a lot of deception out there, man. God says, I'll spit you out of my mouth, man. I'll spew you out if you're lukewarm. In other words, you better have a fire underneath you for the Lord's coming. And he's very serious. You know he's very serious. Yeah, I wouldn't want to stand before the Lord knowing that I was uh, treating this like it's some kind of a, a television show. You know, selling coffee mugs. You know, uh-uh. I'm not out trying to do that. I'm out here trying to get you guys to be aware of your spirit. Not what's going on in all these other places. I'm telling you to believe in what's written here where God says to pray for Israel and all that. But am I... No, I'm not even traveling over there. I'm not going there. I'm not... I'm all about focusing on our spirit. I told you, this isn't a battle of flesh and blood. It's a battle of spirits. We're, they're literally jumping in people around us right now. A window has been opened. I've seen them jumping in people, spitting their tongues out really fast. You guys, who else is telling you all this stuff? This is a very real picture. Okay? See how they spit their tongue out? They're doing this to see who can catch it and who knows what's going on. Okay? Nobody else on these YouTube channels seems to be pointing that stuff out. Makes me wonder why. But it don't matter. We've been at this for quite some time now. Everybody's been doing what they're doing and everybody's watching who they're watching. And they're believing who they're believing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, there's people out there that say once saved, always saved. Listen, why does it say to repent? And then why does he say follow me? Why does he say you can't serve two masters? Because you'll love one and you'll hate the other. And... The devil's the ruler of this world, okay? And he deceives the whole world. And he's running. If he's the ruler of this world, that sounds like the master of something, doesn't it? You know, what did he tell the rich man? Sell everything you've got. Come, follow me. Why do you think I let him destroy my business? I didn't care, man. I knew what time it was. Destroy it. Take it, you know? I mean, I'm not... If, if I got a choice between Jesus Christ and my, and my business, I choose Jesus, Okay, this was paid off for. Thank God I was able to uh, live in this, you know, and I've had some people help me this last year to where I got through, you know, with gas. But I'm telling you, we're down to months, man. We're down to months where we're getting ready to go. That dream showing me um, where we I had to get in and shut the door. That was that was a feeling of like that. I had to get in there and shut that door really quickly, just like this says. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chamber and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if it were a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. No more. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be hidden anymore. This is what's getting ready to happen, you guys. I feel it. I, 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 I'm. I'm almost certain I'm right about this. I think I'm finished here doing this too. You know that I'm still gonna do my videos. I'm still gonna talk to people. I got a habit of it. You know, until the Lord takes me out of here, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm not gonna stop. And uh, I seen when I was younger. When I was in my early 20s, where the Lord came for me in a house and he pulled me out. Like, I mean, I was drawn to him like a magnet. He pulled me out in uh, the great multitude of everybody wearing white robes. He pulled me through them. See, at first I seen him in the window. When I went to a window, the shutters opened up really fast. And I went to the window and I instantly felt like I was on a balcony. 
and I seen more people than I could tell you. They were all wearing white robes. And when I instantly when I seen them, I backed away because they were all looking at me. And I knew, you know, whoever they were waiting for, <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> That's why I got out of there real quick, you know. And I just kind of hid away from them. And, uh, and then at the same time, when I when I moved away from the window, um, it was like I was not never on a balcony. And then that's when the front door went wham, opened up really fast, and I knew that was Jesus. I couldn't see his, ha his head, his hands, or his feet, but I seen his white robe. It was pure white. He wasn't wearing nothing red. It was all white. And uh, I was drawn to him like a magnet, man. I mean, really fast. And he immediately went right outside, man. I mean, it, as soon as I was being pulled to him, he turned and went that fast. And uh, all those people that I was trying to hide from, he took me through them all. You know, like all through all those people. And then he swung around and started to take me towards his throne. And I seen a bunch of little people all around on both sides of the throne. So, I mean, you know, I don't know what all that's about yet. But I know there's going to be a lot of people that are uh, going to be at the throne there. And that's where he was leading me towards that. I can't say any more than that because that's all I know from that dream. And I woke up. When I woke up, man, my heart was going boom, 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 boom. It was a very uh, terrifying thing. You know, I thought I died and I didn't know why uh, any of this stuff was going on. But um, this dream that I had here, Isaiah chapter 26, 20 and 21, that's exactly what I dreamed, okay? And this is what's getting ready to happen, where he says, hide thyself in thy chamber. Um, and he's going to open and disclose all this stuff. Remember, he said, don't let these times come upon you unaware and don't be lukewarm. Don't be lukewarm. Please don't be lukewarm. You know, so what if? If these people don't want to hear it, I testify with people all the time. And if they say, oh, I don't believe, I, oh, I'll, I'll move on, you know. At least I tried to warn you about it, you know. Um, I'm not going to be quiet about this. I'm not because uh, I know what time it is. I know this is over. That's why I'm, <laughs> I got a passion for this, you guys. It's like, it's almost like, uh. You know, stop and think about it, this. Now, this is like, I do this every day. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. People say I'm a bum. Try doing something like this every day, seven days a week, and and see, you know. Yeah, I, the benefits are going to be with my Lord later, okay? But you can definitely can't say that I'm a bum because I'm not doing things for what's in the world. I'm doing this because I know this is coming to an end. And even those that are calling me a bum, let me tell you something. They're in for a very rude awakening. A very rude awakening. And most people are going to be out of a job very soon. Except for those that take the mark of the beast. Okay? And then we know they're going to be damned. Okay? God bless you guys. I hope and pray that you get something out of this message. Please see the description box. Um, the Lord's coming anytime now. I'm going to include that other video where uh, she was even saying she thinks like within the next couple months. And I've been telling you five. I feel May is the season. Fifth season. Like that seasoning salt, it's called fifth season. The signs are all around. That's why the Lord said watch. And that's probably the reason why I've got people attacking me because I'm pointing these things out. And I'm probably opening eyes. I must be opening people's eyes because um, I'm getting more heavy attacks than I've ever seen before. And they've increased, and I'm going to say in the last three months, they've really increased. So therefore, I must be uh, really getting some attention here, making people think. And they don't like that. And remember this, the demonic spirits, they know when people are, are thinking they know it, and they don't like that. They want you to obey in, in what's in here. This is soon getting ready to come to an end. 
I think we're a few months away from it. Please check out the videos that I'm going to include in this. I'm going to include my last video that I just did where I had that conversation with the older gentleman. And I'm also going to include the other one where another girl was saying she believes um, that uh, it's going to happen within the next couple months because of the signs, like all the floods in California. And that whole opening up, swallowing the water, where it speaks about all this in the Bible, where the earth opened up its mouth and swallowed all that water that the devil cast out of his mouth. These things are happening right now. We're getting ready to go, you guys. We're right there. It, it, when I say a couple of months, man, you know, I just, I got my insurance paid for next month already. Um, I got enough money to where I could pay for my insurance or uh, this health club here for next month. And see, I'm showering every day. I'm getting to keep clean now every day. You know, and I know that's the Holy Spirit, the Lord working through um, those out there that have helped me like this. Because I didn't get to do this all the time before. I've been living like this since September of uh, 2015. And I was lucky if I got to take a shower once or twice a week. You know, but I, this is my passion. I'm not going to stop doing it. Like I said, when you come up out of this world, the things that you start seeing, it's going to blow your mind. And these have always been around us. This has always been around us from the beginning. And you'll even notice the other spirits that have more control on people, the demonic spirits. You'll start seeing them where it's happening around you. And you'll even see the good and the bad. You know, where I was testifying with this other person that works at the gym. And this demonic guy came up to me wanting, trying to distract me and stop me. And another guy came up and said, hey, 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 hey. You know, and stopped him from bothering me. You know, I'm telling you, man, there's good spirits and there's bad spirits. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with spiritual principalities in dark places. That's why that video at the end of this video, I put that up to where it'll always pop up. So you can see those angels and the spirits that are going in and out of me like that. That's because there's a battle going on, okay? And people don't understand this, okay? Our bodies are a temple, and, and they were bought for a price by the Lord. That's what he did on the cross. Therefore, we are to glorify him, and the devil's trying to take our souls, okay? He's trying to conquer your temple, Okay, we all are a temple of the Lord. We're either a branch that's attached to him where he's the vine and we're either producing fruit or we're going to be gathered up and placed into the fire. Okay, we must be producing fruit. Okay, God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. Please see the description and uh, know that our time is up. This is it. 2017, man. 2017. I was 17 years old in this photo. I was 17. And it's 2017 now. And guess what? I'm going to be 57 in May. And, and it's the same as the Jewish calendar. 57, 77. God bless you guys.